Fancy another kid? Oh, no, I'd better go. Mm, that's okay. Give my love to our Lindsay, will you? I will. I'll see you later. I don't know how he's got the brass neck to show his face in public. Why is that? Well, you know, all the carry on at that school. Look, Dad, just don't talk him off, OK? Uh, on second thoughts, Mike, make that a half. Are you feeling a bit skint, are you? Never mind feeling a bit skint. I am a bit skint. Why, what's happened? Uh, I went down to the social this morning, didn't I? And what did he say? Well, you'd think with me never having signed on and then making all them contributions when I was teaching that they'd be able to sort me out, wouldn't you? Well, yeah. No chance. All we get is 50 poxy quid a week family credit. That's not even proper dull money, that, is it? Ah. Oh, does that mean that you won't be able to live in the style that you become accustomed to? My heart bleeds for you. You what? You've got some front, you. You paid taxes for all of five minutes and you got the nerve to complain. What about all the time you've been sponging off real taxpayers like me? I've never sponged off anyone, mate. You mightn't have signed on, but you still used all the public services. And who do you think pays for them, eh? The tooth fairy. You shouldn't be getting anything if you'd ask me. All right. Well, no one did ask you, did they? So why don't you just do one? Yeah, just leave it, will you, Pops? I'm sorry, son. I'm not going to stand here and listen to some drug dealer going off on one about how hard done by he is. Hey, aye, aye. Who are you calling a drug dealer? Don't play the innocent with me, Corkill. Everybody knows you got the push from that school because they found out what you really are. For all we know, it might have been you so let Susan Clark get the smack that killed her. Oh, that's a bit strong, isn't it, Dad? You are totally out of order, Dixon. I don't hear you denying it. Well, you saying I got a job as a teacher so I could deal drugs to kids? You are off your head. OK, then. Why did they get rid of you? So, how does it feel to know that you're responsible for another kid's death? Why? I don't want to be here if the busy show up. 